you don't make the final decision about who gets a library grant, do you? I mean, it's not a political decision? No, it's not a political decision. There's a, a lot, there are different kinds of grants. There's a library construction grant, maybe what you're referring to. Right, various grants, SNAP grants, okay. uh, that type of thing. Those are committees, those go through the Tennessee State Library and Archives and they make recommendations to me and I accept those recommendations. So, so those are not really your decisions? I, I accept the recommendation. I wouldn't say they're my decision in necessarily in the end. Okay, uh, so why print up big lottery style checks that you take out for big photo ops on it? Because it's about getting the library and the archives and the newspaper to help people understand the important work those libraries and archives are doing. In many cases, they use those as to gather attention to help get budget support for what they're doing locally, to try and raise money from local individuals. So it's about shining a bright light on the great work that our libraries and archives are doing. That's a great example too, Phil, that people think that in our office, a lot of what we do is elections. And it's a very public piece of what we do but people don't realize the reach that we have with library and archives, the reach that we have with charitable solicitation gaming, the reach that we have with administrative procedures and division, uh, business services where we have customers who, you know, by the, you know, tens of thousands come into our office each year. But you don't actually sign the real checks that go to these. No, I don't. So why do you sign the fake checks? Chuck, Cheryl, and I often make those presentations. We're the one making the presentations. But it puts your name on, on the checks when you're not really the one writing the checks. Well, it's the, it's the Secretary of State's office. So I would think that's very similar to how other departments and agencies in state government and other areas do those things. Can you name another state agency that goes out with big lottery-style checks? Well, I've seen the Department of Environment and Conservation has done that. I mean, I've seen other places that have done that. And but. You don't decide who gets the money. You don't actually sign the checks that come from the treasury. So why put your name on, on the ceremonial checks? Well, because those come through the Secretary of State's office and they come through the State Library and Archives. But it's a way for you to claim credit. It's really about shining the light on the great work that those libraries and archives are doing. I certainly am not trying to gain credit. In fact, you'll, you'll notice that some of the presentations, if you look, I'm shying away in the back row trying to get out of the picture. It's about pushing those people who are doing great works in libraries and archives forward to help shine the bright light on them and the important work they're doing. Some people say, though, Trey Hargett is using taxpayer money to run for something. I'm glad you brought that up, Bill, is that I'm running to be the best Secretary of State our state's ever had. Not you're, you're not running for governor? No. Have you thought about running for governor? During brief moments, I have. But no, I'm not running. Not thinking about running for the U.S. Senate. Not thinking about running for congressman. I'm enjoying what I'm doing. And if anything, I don't think I'm where I want to be as a Secretary of State yet. We've done a lot of great things. Whether it's over the last six years, if you look at the trend line, and give me a couple minutes, okay? If you look at the trend line, for where we were at a $30.7 million budget, now we're at 27.9, that a cumulative effect, we are about $15.5 million that we have not spent in taxpayer money. If you look at what we reverted back to taxpayers, almost $18 million back to general fund, and we've been able to bolster our reserves in the, in the department all by $10 million, and that's money we don't have to go back whenever we get ready to do microfilm conversion, whenever we get ready to enhance technology that's, that benefits taxpayers, the Tennessee State Library and Archives, those are things that we don't have to go and ask for money from the General Assembly. So we're being good stewards with taxpayer dollars. But you raise a good point, Phil. We should be looking at everything we do through the lens of the taxpayer and trying to figure out how we spend those dollars wisely while also measuring accountability, what makes us accountable, accessible, more effective and efficient on behalf of taxpayers.